Okay guys, in this video I want to go over um, a very simple topic, um, but one that is very important if you're going to trade a live account or even if you're going to trade an express funded account. Um, so guys, you need to be aware of your brokerage commissions and fees uh, in order to properly put in a break even stop. So guys, I trade with a brokerage uh, called TradeStation and on TradeStation I have 50 cent round turn commissions plus um, I have a 70 cent round turn ex uh, uh, futures exchange fees and a two cent national futures association fee so my I want to bring up the calculator So guys, on my trade station, I pay approximately a dollar and twenty-two cents. I think it's a dollar and twenty-four cents per round-trip micro Nasdaq contract. So a dollar and twenty-four cents, guys. Uh, in order to have a break-even trade, you need three ticks. So you'll notice my break-even stop is going to be three ticks. Okay, guys. Now on my um, trade of eight. If you go look at my uh, top step, I'll show you the top step. If you take the number of contracts that I've traded and divided by the total uh, fees and commissions, it comes out to about a dollar and thirty cents. Meaning that, in order to have a break-even stop, I need to. Uh, so that this right here on trade of eight my micro nasdaq commissions and fees are about a dollar and thirty cents now guys it's fifty cents a tick on the micro nasdaq so in order to have a minimum profitable trade i need three ticks okay so what does that really mean in practice it means that your break even stop on trade station and on trade of eight needs to be at least three ticks okay three ticks so it's just something that you need to be aware of guys so what you need to do is you need to go on your brokerage and you need to see what the commission what the commissions are and then what the exchange uh, fees are because you need to factor that into your break-even stop so that when you actually do get stopped out break-even it's actually break-even and not a, a loss so again guys on my trade station I have a promotional pricing where I have a 20 cent per side 25 cent per side commission, 50 cent round turn per contract, so 50 cents per round turn on a contract. And then I'll, I'll show you the uh, exchange fees. Okay. So, guys, if you look at the micro NASDAQ, it's 35 cents per side per contract. So, what does that mean? That means it's 70 cents of exchange fees per side per contract. So if I put on one micro NASDAQ, I have commissions plus fees. So I have 50 cents in commissions, plus I have 70 cents in exchange fees, plus I have um, National Futures Association regulatory fee of two cents per contract. And it doesn't say whether that is a round turn or not. So guys, I'm either paying uh, 50 plus 75 a dollar 25 cents or a dollar a uh, dollar 27 cents or a dollar and 29 cents per contract and I'm not exactly sure if that two cents is round turn or not but anyways um, you need to be aware of your exchange fees you need to be aware of your brokerage commissions because you need to factor that in to your break-even stops so again guys for me on my trade station, I pay a dollar and twenty-seven cents or a dollar and twenty-nine cents per contract. Meaning, in order to be break-even on a trade, I need a three-tick break-even stop. Again, that's three ticks um, for a break-even stop. And then on my trade of eight, I pay about the same, a dollar and thirty cents with all the fees included. So, and that's on my express funded accounts, about a dollar and thirty cents per contract. So. Uh, anyways, guys, um, three ticks is my break-even stop because that's factoring in your commissions and fees. So 
Guys, just so you know, Trade Station has super low fees. I think AMP has pretty low fees as well. EdgeClear has pretty low fees. But you do need to be aware of your commissions, your exchange fees, because you need to factor that into your break-even stops. Okay, guys, in this video, we went over brokerage commissions and fees and how you can do the math on that and how you need to do the math on that for your break-even stops. If you're trading the micro NASDAQ, it's probably three or four ticks. So three to four ticks. For me, it's three ticks on both accounts. So my Express Funded and my TradeStation Live account, I need to have a three tick stop loss in order to make a profit on the trade. And that's, you know, assuming that I don't have any slippage on the order. So I might actually need to put the order at four ticks, but probably not like three ticks and I'm pretty much break even. Okay, guys, we went over brokerage commissions and fees on this video and how you factor that into your break even stops. Uh, I, again, guys, it's, this is all just mathematics, okay? Trading is all mathematics. So I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you factor in your brokerage commissions and fees into your break-even stop structure, and bye-bye.